You've got questions and I've got some answers on how to organize your presets in Adobe Lightroom Classic 2020. Now, this whole video really came about after I created a video on how to import your presets into Adobe Lightroom 2020. And if you have not seen that video yet, then I will link it in the description below so you can take a look at that. However, there is just a slight little caveat. I know, not a big deal, not a big deal. Don't get triggered, but I will show you how right after this. Okay, so all of you OGs are gonna understand this, but back in the day, Lightroom Classic used to be very easy in terms of organizing your presets. All you had to do was go into your presets panel, right click on a preset, as long as it wasn't a preloaded preset from Adobe, and then select new folder. Name that folder whatever you wanted to name it, and then you've got an organized folder where you can import and create new presets into. You can still kind of do that today with the newer Lightroom Classic, but it's just a lot more of a lengthier process and much more of a rigmarole to get it going. So let me show you how. Let's step on into Lightroom Classic. As you can see, I've already imported a photo just for the principles of this tutorial. And looking at the presets panel, you can see that there is nothing in there except for the preloaded presets that come with Adobe Lightroom Classic. Now, I did this specifically for the reason that I want to show you from the start how this operation is going to work. The first thing we need to do is create a dummy preset. And what I mean by dummy is this just a, a preset that's not gonna really care or matter anyway because we're going to delete it. So go ahead and click on the plus symbol, click on create preset, and this takes you to the whole uh, dialog box where you can check what you want to keep in your preset and what you don't want to keep. Um, we can title it what we wanna title it, so let's just call it a dummy, right? All right, and once we've done that, we normally would just go ahead and click create and as you can tell, uh, Lightroom Classic has a user preset by default as the group or the folder that they're gonna be put into. We don't want that, we wanna make our own folder. So click on this, now click on new group, which really means new folder. So once we've got to this part, we can go ahead and label it what we wanna label it. So let's just call it Christmas presets because it is the Christmas season. Close to it at least, can't type, sorry about that. Um, and then we're gonna click create and then click create again. And then as you can tell, we now have a folder called Christmas Preset with the dummy preset in there. Now, this is the caveat. This is the part that you're probably gonna hate and not like, and I personally wish was a little bit easier as well. What I wish we could do was we could right click on dummy preset um, and then have an import feature right here and import new presets into that folder. But unfortunately, that method isn't going to work or does not exist. The only way we can do this now is to import new presets or create new presets, which are unfortunately going to fall back under the user preset folder that it defaults to, and then drag and drop them into the different group folders that we make. So now, if I was going to import presets from somebody that I purchased them from, uh, you know, we, we would have to go about this route right here by clicking on the preset folder and import that way or going back up here to the plus symbol and importing presets that way. So let's just walk, I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Let's import, we'll come up here. I've got some already set here. Let's just use the Winter Beach ones. I'm gonna select them all, import, and then unfortunately, like I said before, they default to user presets. Now what we would have to do is if these were the Christmas presets that we wanted to keep in that preset folder that we created, we would have to individually drag them into it and put them in there. Painstakingly awful, I know, but this is the only way as of right now, 2020, when this video has been created, this is the only way you can do it. I know. So, as you can see, if you want to import new presets with a different folder name, you're gonna to have to go through this process each time over and over again by making a dummy preset importing those presets into Lightroom and then dragging them individually into that folder. Unfortunately, that's just the way you have to do it. And also this principle applies if you're creating presets for yourself. Like if you're making your own presets and you create them, they're gonna go into that user preset by default. Then you would have to create a folder just like we did in the beginning and then drag that preset into that folder. I hear a lot of boos and a lot of oohs and grumps and gripes. I, trust me, I'm in the same boat that you're in. I hope that Adobe will fix this in the future with maybe some kind of a firmware update or software update. Who knows, maybe if we gripe enough, we'll get what we want. 
And with that, that is going to wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you have found this video helpful. I know it was rather short, but there really wasn't much to it, and I wanted to get to the meat and berries so I didn't waste your time. So if you like this video and you like the content that I keep putting out, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, you know the routine, and I will see you when I come back.